Welcome to this online lesson about acceleration. What do you think acceleration is and how do you think deceleration is different? Pause the video for a moment and have a think. Acceleration is defined as the rate of change of velocity. Or to put it more simply, it's the change in velocity over a certain amount of time. The equation we use is acceleration equals change in velocity divided by time. And down at the bottom in red there, I've written it out in its symbols. A for acceleration, and if you remember, the little triangle is the Greek letter delta, meaning change. So acceleration equals change in V or velocity divided by time. So let's look at an example. Here we're asked to calculate the acceleration of a runner who accelerates from 2 meters per second to 10 meters per second in 16 seconds. So just going to highlight our key data here. 2 meters per second is the starting velocity. He ends up at 10 meters per second and the time taken is 16 seconds. We're then going to put those numbers into the equation below. So what we've got is acceleration equals change in velocity divided by time. So we've got the final velocity here, the initial velocity here, and then the time taken. And when we calculate that, we come up with the answer 0.5 meters per second squared. And this is the important bit here. This is the unit of acceleration. You'll notice that we always take the initial or starting velocity away from the final velocity. So if we have a look up here, this is the final velocity. And so I've put that into the calculation first down here. Then I've gone back to the starting or initial velocity and that's gone into the equation second. And that's why I get 10 minus two equals eight divided by 16 gives me 0.5 meters per second squared. At the start of the video, I asked what the difference was between acceleration and deceleration. Deceleration is defined as when an object is slowing down, but we still calculate it the same way. The equation for acceleration or deceleration is always change in velocity divided by time. So let's have a look at a second example. Here I'm asked to calculate the acceleration of a car that slows down from 27 meters per second to 17 meters per second in 2.5 seconds. So here's our key data then. Okay, that's our initial or starting velocity. This is our final velocity and this is the time taken. So we've got our equation there, acceleration equals change in velocity divided by time. And this time the starting velocity is 27, so that goes in here. And the final velocity is 17, which goes in here. And once again, we put time in the bottom here. So now when I complete the calculation, the answer I get is minus four meters per second squared. Again, what we did here was to take the initial velocity away from the final velocity. So because the initial velocity is 27, I'm taking it away. So it has to go in the second place in the calculation. And because this is the final velocity, this has to go at the start of the calculation. And that's how I end up with this negative number. And because it's negative, this is what tells me that the car is decelerating. So from previous lessons, we've learned that velocity is speed in a certain direction. We have to take into account the speed or the size of the speed and also the direction in which it's traveling. So if acceleration is a change in velocity, then it means that either the speed or the magnitude could change or the direction can change. In both cases, the object would be accelerating. For example, if an object is going round in a circle, it may be traveling at a constant speed, but because it's continually changing direction, it would also be accelerating. Now pause this video and complete worksheet 10.1. Here are the answers to worksheet 10.1. As you can see, in each case, I've clearly shown the working, the answer and the units, which you need to do to get full marks. I think questions one to six are fairly straightforward. If you found seven, eight, nine and 10 a little bit difficult, then the next part of this video will go through those a little bit more slowly. 
On question 7, I know that the starting velocity is 0 metres per second. And then I know that I'm looking for the final velocity. I don't know that. I am told that the time is equal to 6 seconds. And we're told that the acceleration is equal to 5 metres per second squared. So all I need to do now is put the numbers into the equation. So we know that A is equal to change in velocity divided by T. Now we're told that A is equal to 5. We know that the change in velocity is the final velocity minus the initial velocity, which is 0. And then we're going to divide that by the time, which we're given as 6. And now I need to rearrange the numbers. So because 6 is on the bottom here and I need to move it up to the top, I'm going to have to multiply it because it's currently divided. So I do 5 multiplied by 6 is equal to, well, V minus 0 is just equal to V. So when I multiply that together, 5 times 6 gives me 30 metres per second, and that is my final answer. For question 8, I know that my object starts at 10 metres per second, and I'm trying to find the final velocity. I don't know that. I'm told that it takes 12 seconds to travel, and that the acceleration is equal to 2. Once again, I'm going to go back to the equation, A equals change in velocity divided by time T. And then I put the numbers in. So acceleration is 2. The change in velocity is V minus 10. And then I'm dividing by the time, which we're given as 12. Now again, I want to move the 12 up. So because it's divided now, I'm going to need to multiply it. When I do that, I have 2 multiplied by 12, which is equal to 24, is equal to, and we come to this area here, V minus 10. So to find V, I need to move 10 across to the other side. And at the moment, 10 is minus 10, so I'm going to have to add it to move it to the other side. So I'm going to end up with 24 plus 10 equals V, which is 34 meters per second. And there we have the final answer. So for question 9, I know that the object starts at 0 meters per second and ends at 10 meters per second. So we know it's getting faster. We're told that it accelerates at a rate of 2.5 meters per second, but I don't know what the time is. Once again, I'm going to write out the equation and I'm going to put the numbers in. So A is equal to 2.5. The change in velocity is going to be 10 minus 0, which is 10. And I'm going to divide that by the time, which I'm trying to find out. Now, this is slightly more complicated to find because I want to get time on its own. So I need to move it up here to start with because it's divided down here. I'm going to have to multiply it. When I do that, I end up with 2.5 multiplied by T is equal to 10. But to get T on its own, I now need to move this 2.5 to the other side. And because at the moment it's multiplied, I'm going to have to divide. So when I do that, I end up with T is equal to 10 divided by 2.5, which gives us four seconds. And there is the final answer. So on question 10, then we know that our aircraft starts at 100 meters per second and we know it accelerates to 200 meters per second. We don't know how long that's going to take, but we do know that the acceleration is equal to five. Again, I'm going to write out my equation and then put the numbers in. So the acceleration is 5. The change in velocity this time goes from 100 up to 200. So the change in velocity is 100 metres per second. So it's gone from 100 to 200. We don't know the time again this time, but I'm going to have to rearrange the equation to find it. Again, I want to move time up to the top. So because it's divided at the moment, I've got to multiply it to move it. That gives me 5 times t equals 100. And then finally, to get t on its own, I need to move 5 to the other side. I'm going to have to divide it because at the moment it's multiplied by t. I end up with t is equal to 100 divided by 5, which is 20 seconds. And there we have our final answer. So to finish up this session, have a look at these four questions, pause the video and see if you can remember all of the answers. So here are the correct answers to the plenary. 
just take a moment to check if you've got them right.